Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another painting and of course it's going to be a movie scene and it's going to be this one from Blade Runner 2049. I love the monochrome look and I have everything all sketched out already. I did a projector, you know, because I like to just worry about the painting and not the actual drawing itself. I love how monochrome this scene is and so I get to use just a few colors. I use a big brush and just get, use water first and I'm going to wet the whole um, paper down. So I'll make sure it's all wet so we can have a nice even um, painting on this. I guess using an orange here and I'm going to go over the whole canvas and just do one big layer of this orange color. I am leaving a space here at top because it's really quite yellow at the top and I don't want to paint it with the orange first. I want that to make, make sure that that stays bright and yellow. So I'm using a lemon yellow first but I think I'm going to get, go a little darker. A little darker yellow. If you like art and movies and if you'd like to see more stuff like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. All right, I left it to dry and you can see there's some blooms here, but the watercolor always dries lighter than when it's wet. So I'm going to do another layer of the orange. I'm also going to start adding the light red that's near the bottom. This has really a good gradient effect going on from the yellow to the orange to the dark red on the bottom. So I want to make sure I, I do that right and make it nice and even as it goes light to dark. Alright, we let it dry again and you can see how much lighter it still is. I'm going to do one more layer of these colors. I would also like to hear your thoughts on this movie at this point. I just saw this movie pretty recently. I also just saw the original Blade Runner with Harrison Ford pretty recently. I tried watching it years ago and I, th I thought it was 
uh, kind of boring. <laughs> it was just wasn't my type of movie, but I did watch the whole thing recently on, I think it was on Netflix or something, and I thought it was fine. It was okay. But then I wanted to see this newer version that a lot of people seem to like. Um, so I gave it a watch and I do like it and it's very visually very, very beautiful and hence why I'm painting a scene from it. But I don't know if it's a movie I'd watch over and over again. But I, I did enjoy it. I just didn't love it the way a lot of people do through that I've seen on TikTok and stuff like that. All right, we have it dry again, and you can see that the saturation is pretty close to what I would, I'm happy with. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some of those darker details near the bottom. It's a really kind of a rocky terrain, and so it's not a necessarily even color terrain on the bottom part of this horizon. And I'm only using the light red color for this darker area. Every time it dries, I want to get rid of all these little blooms that happen. So I'm just always even though evening those out between um, what every time I every time it dries. Oh gosh. And I'm using the smaller brush to do like rock details, but not making them really detailed, just kind of impressions of rocks. The horizon line, I don't like the hard line that I keep getting here, but so I kind of keep trying to even it all, like blend it all into the skyline. So you know how you hit record, but you don't hit record, and so you film or don't film painting the figure? <laughs> so I'm gonna do a real reenactment of how that went. I used my brush, I used only the red, this is light red watercolor, and had my yellow background, my pencil outline is there. And I just very, pretty much just colored it in. Started at the head, and then worked my way down. 
I don't know why I do that sometimes, but that's happened to me a couple of times. But I didn't want to redo the whole painting again, so I'm just doing, showing you how I did it. And there we go. Ta-da! And that's how I did the figure. <laughs> All right, back to it. I want to even out the sky, and it's a very flat scene. Like, the, it's very foggy, so there's not a lot of changes in the color. There's no lines, so I just kind of want to get rid of some of those lines that I have here. Also, I'll go over the figure one more time because it's not flat as well. It's it has a lighter middle for some reason, so it's gonna fix that, even it all out. So I'm pretty nervous about taking the tape off because I got the canvas pretty wet and sometimes the tape doesn't really do much with this much paint going on. But look at that! Wow, that's clean. So I'm going to do this other side and that looks good too. For the corners, let's see how this goes. Yes, it's so clean. I love it. Oh yeah, so I'm very happy with that. Got a little paint mark right there, but that's okay. I'm I'm pretty pleased. Nice orange water. Thanks for watching.